Hi everybody, this is Fat Frog, and today I thought I would talk about the Med Pouch versus the Med Crate in Battlefield 1 used by the Medic class. Go figure. Now many people are wondering what the difference is between the Medical Pouch and the Med Crate. And at first it would seem like the Med Crate must be better because you have to um, pay for it with War Bonds, whereas the uh, Med Pouch you just uh, get it right away. So you have to advance in BF1 and gain XP to unlock it. And the same thing in Battlefield 4. Now I'd argue in most situations the Med Pouch is actually better than the Med Crate which you have to buy. Um, but both have their pluses and mi minuses. The med bags um, are they're great because you can heal yourself and your teammates on the run. You don't have to wait until you have some place to hide and throw down the med crate and wait for it to do its work and then not move while doing that. Because that med crate's only going to work while you're standing next to it. Whereas the med pouch, as soon as you walk over it, um, you sort of suck it up into your body and you begin healing. Now you can run to new cover or new objectives and heal all the way while you're doing it. If you're out in the open and get shot, toss a med pouch in front of you and you can begin healing on the run also. Uh, if you take any damage while you're uh, during the healing process, um, the healing process is going to stop um, until you throw a new pouch and run over it. Likewise on the run you can toss a med pouch to your teammates and then they can heal as they're running to cover or objectives or whatever. All you have to do at this point um, in order to throw a med bag, um, med pouch directly at somebody is you kind of get your crosshair over um, your teammate and you can hit the spot button or whatever um, button that you're using to throw a med pouch. So on a controller that would be one of the directional buttons and on the uh, uh, keyboard it'd be probably like the number three or four or whatever you uh, set for that. Uh, so the pouch will go flying like a considerable distance to actually hit your teammate which is very handy. Um, one of the problems using the med pouch is that you throw it so um, if you have to heal yourself while you're you know hiding in cover you're gonna throw the pouch and then you gotta go run after it but if you're in a building or something like that you can toss it up against the wall and it sort of falls back down at your feet and then you uh, suck it up that way so that's good now the med crate is really good in some situations because you can heal yourself and other teammates in basically an unlimited amount the med pouch you can only throw like three at a time and there's a little bit of a cool down there I don't know quite how long it is but it's not very long so then you have to hang around the med crate and it's not always safe to hang around that med crate. Um, if grenades are being thrown nearby or somebody's shooting into wherever you're hiding they can hit and destroy the med crate and then you're gonna have to throw another one and there's a longer cooldown period between throwing med crates and you can only have one down at a time. So the med crate is good for healing a lot of teammates especially at choke points um, like in the canyons at the Argonne Forest or one of uh, the fortresses in Monte Grappa for instance so it's good if you're also traveling around in a group and you're capturing points on, on a flag so once you get to where you're at that capture point you can throw down that med crate and heal the teammates and everybody around you and there's no real limit as to how many teammates that that you can heal there's that just that limit in the distance from the med crate so also dropping that med crate in those situations is a great way to gain XP in the game because as you're healing teammates you're getting that bonus and then you can also earn um, ribbons at the end and get bonuses that way. So you just have to make sure your med crate isn't getting destroyed by um, grenade span during that time and so you'll have to throw down a new one. So unlike the med pouch, the med crate won't heal you if you're being suppressed however. So if you're being shot at and you know how your vision kind of gets blurry or dark, if you're being suppressed you're not going to get the med crate. On the other hand if you get shot and take a little bit of damage or whatever that med crate's still there pretty soon you're going to um, as soon as you're unsuppressed you're going to be uh, healing again and unlike the med pouches you got to throw a new one start over again so i find that the med pouch should be much more flexible than the med crate because you can heal teammates under pretty much any situations whether you're all hiding in a corner you can toss med bags to you know up to three teammates or two teammates and yourself um, 
or if you're on the run and gun situation and really if you're playing the Jeff Gov, you're usually running around quite a lot so it's really good to be able to throw those med pouches and heal on the run and heal your teammates on the run so I hope that kind of cleared up some of the uh, misconceptions about the med bag and the med crate and you can decide whichever sort of fits your you know play style or whatever situation in your you're in I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please thumbs up and subscribe and thanks for watching